大家好，我的名字是哈西马。Welcome to Guangzhou, China. My group members and I choose Guangzhou, China as a place to explore and share interesting places for you to visit. The first place is that the Chimilong Tourist Resort is located in Panyu District. Why do I say this place is interesting? Because it is an international magnificent visitor country which constantly brings happiness to the world. There are several packages released by Chimilong Tourist Resort to visit starting from Chimilong Paradise, Chimilong Safari Park, Water Park, International Circus, Crocodile Park and Golf Center. All full of joy and wonder awaits your arrival. Next, I will take you to the Canton Tower. As the landmark of Guangzhou, the Canton Tower lies at the south bank of the Pearl River facing Haishinsha Island to the north. Canton Tower is one in every of the attractions in Guangzhou with the height just about 600 meters or 1,968 feet on top of ocean level. As the highest TV tower in China and the third highest in the world, the tower has been a massive scenic spot in Haizhou district, Guangzhou. Especially at night, the tower seems like a resplendent dress ablaze with colorful light. Interesting, right? After that, it is incomplete if you do not visit Hua Cheng Square. It is located in the CBD of Zhujian New Town. It is now the largest square and a famous sightseeing and shopping destination in Guangzhou. There are 39 architectural buildings like the Guangzhou Opera House, the Guangzhou No. 2 Children Palace, Guangzhou New Museum and Guangzhou International Financing, Financing Center. For me, those are three interesting places that you must visit when visiting Guangzhou, China. So, if you want to know more interesting places in Guangzhou, my group members will share. That's all from me. Thank you. Zai Chen. 大家好, 我的名字, Justin Manku. I will show you another three places you will love to visit in Guangzhou, China. At the first place, we have Shaman Island. Another way to see a completely different perspective of China and the city is to visit Shaman Island, which serves as an important foreign trade port from the Song Dynasty to the Qing Dynasty. It is a very historical with many buildings and churches. With the European flair, it's like walking through a small town in Europe. It is only separated from the mainland by a small canal and it's easily accessible. It's a nice way to spend an afternoon strolling around and seeing the sights. It operating daily 24 hours and the ticket is for free. The second place is Bomo Garden. Bomo Garden is one of the Guangzhou attractions which is located on the edge of city center and it's a beautiful ensemble of architecture and horticulture from southern China. If you have had this pleasure of visiting cities in northern region of China, you will find the differences between them. This particular garden was created in the late Qing Dynasty. It was destroyed in 1950s but was later rebuilt and returned to its original splendid state. It's operating daily at 30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. and the ticket is divided to two which is adult and child. For adults, it costs you CNY 54 which is 34.17 Malaysian ringgit. And for child, it costs you CNY 27 which is 17.08 Malaysian ringgit. The third place is Guangdong Museum. When you are in Huangcheng Square, Guangdong Museum is a nice place to visit later in Guangzhou. It's a relatively new addition, at least a new building, 
that become a focal point downtown in 2004. You can explore exhibit of ceramic, pottery, calligraphy, fossil, and more for permanent exhibit, while many a temporary exhibit are also put on for even more to discover. It operating Tuesday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and the ticket is for free. Pachaho, Wada Minza Sha City Nor Atila. Today, I want to share another three place that very interesting at Guangzhou, China, and you can visit it with your family, friends, partner, or by yourself. The first place is Sun Yat-sen Memorial Hall. Sun Yat-sen Memorial Hall was very interesting because this memorial hall features unique octagonal architecture for seeing alone. But the historical significance this Kwanzaa extension post will make you want to linger for more than a gander. The memorial hall was destroyed but repaired several times more. The last restoration took place in 1998. The second place is Bayun Mountain. Bayun Mountain also called as Club Mountain is a scenic area featuring 30 peaks. The highest one is just over 1,200 feet above sea level. The peaceful area and fresh air make it a delightful place to see. There's a cable car that can take you up to Peak Park or you can get some exercise by walking up the stairs. Not a fan of crowd, try it out during the week and not on holidays to have a fewer people to share it with. The third place is Pearl River. Pearl River is a thing of beauty at night. One of the best ways to enjoy it is by getting on river boat cruise. You will see the city landscape and the bright light which really capture the unique and vibrant vibe of Guangzhou. It is something you shouldn't miss out on. You should try it. That's all from me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Nori Manina Aizah Benja Abdul Aziz and I will continue uh, the another trip days interesting in Guangzhou, China. Here is some history about the Temple of the Six Bayan Trees. The Temple of the Six Bayan Trees is one of the four best Buddhist temple in Yuzi district, Guangzhou, and located on the Lyon Road. It has a rich collection of cultural relics and is renowned both at home and abroad. Originally built in 537, and it has been rebuilt several times, and the name has also been changed several times from Changso Temple to Jinho Temple, and finally the current name which is the Temple of the Six Bayan Trees. It is a name given by the Greek literature Son Dompo in the Son Dynasty. A pagoda inside is known variously as Six Bayan Pagoda of Flurry Pagoda. Do you need to look at something wonderful even as in Guangzhou? If so, you have to discover the Qingping Chinese Medicine Market. Chinmi Chinese Herbal Medicine Market, one of 17 Chinese herbal medicine market approved by the state in 1996, is the only legitimate Chinese herbal medicine trading place in Guangzhou and the only Chinese herbal medicine market in the metropolitan center area in China. It is also the first permit market to run a business of the five major categories, which is Chinese herbs, Chinese herbal medicines, Chinese and Western medicines, uh, medical device, and healthcare products. It is the biggest trade port and distribution center of tonic herbal medicine in southern China. Business operators come from many places and products are sold to mainly Hong Kong, Macau, Taiwan, Southeast Asia, and other countries. Lastly, we go to South China Botanical Garden. The South China Botanical Garden is a favorite destination for local and tourists alike. Boasting a stunning collection of rare and exotic plants, this attraction is also a center of cultural learning and scientific research. Visitors are free to photograph a gorgeous bloom, learn about slash and burn cultivation, and create a piece of traditional pottery.
with so many unique and interesting display. Uh, the garden is high on most stories and must do this when visiting the Dubai city of council. The garden is divided into three main sections. First is riches and residential zone. Second, the Degusha Nature's Reserve. And third is the nursery and exhibition zones. In the riches and residential zone, visitors will find the fascinating herbarium that houses over 1 million plant species, many of which are quite rare. Next, we go to the Degusha Nature Reserve zone. Uh, in this zone, uh, it is the renowned Long Dose Magic Forest which has been selected as one of the most scenic spots in the region. It comprises two, two peninsulas that are known as the Relay Garden and the Palm Garden. The two are started in contract with the Palm Garden providing a display of evergreen trees and plants while the Relay Garden reflects the changing season. And last, we go to the nursery and exhibition zone. This apparatus features some 13,000 plants and trees, such as magnolias, orchid, and rhododendrons. Altogether, this zone boasts some 30 categorized gardens, along with an education hall and state of the arts conservatories. That's all from my group about the interesting place in Guangzhou, China. I hope you are enjoying this video. Thank you and have a nice day.